morning. It's my honor and privilege to be at the first edition of Tech Munch and the seventh edition of Emma. Uh, first of all, give a big round of applause for Zinia. She's doing a great job. Uh, I also want to, you heard Suparna. Suparna has been part of our journey for the last five years and she's helped curate some very, very good quality events. And I think while she's been curating those events, the scale and the content of those events has tremendously improved. So congratulations to Parna and really doing a fine job for us. Um, and you know, it's a very special day for me. Today is my parents' uh, marriage anniversary, they complete 50 years of marriage. Uh, and you know, my mom and dad normally don't bother me you know, about ceremony. But two days back, my mom called me and said, uh, will you be here on the 16th? I said, no, I'm in Bombay. So today I'm not there, but hopefully I'll go back and celebrate with them on Sunday. So it's a special day. I remember when we started ITMA in 2011, uh, which was the first year for the Digital Media Awards. Um, it was on 6th June. It was on 5th June. 6th is my mom's birthday. So I, I think it might uh, now tech much have a special connection with me and my family. Um, I won't bore you with uh, similar stuff, but I just want to say that uh, we at Exchange for Media are trying to reinvent things. We believe that the digital landscape is changing very fast. We need to be relevant, whether in our editorial platforms or our community engagements like these events. Uh, so hopefully over the next 10, 12 months, you'll see us trying to reinvent ourselves, add new dimensions, um, and if may, I may use a cliche word, pivot or orbit change. We'll continue to do what we do and serve the community. I also wanted to take this opportunity to welcome my very close friend, Rishi. Uh, the power of digital is such that a large media owner like Rishi Darda, he owns Lokmat Group, is here just to listen to the international speakers. So it tells you that the own media owners are looking at digital in a big way and want to leverage it uh, beyond Facebook and Google because that's where the growth is happening. I also want to welcome all our international speaker, Mr. Tatches, who's uh, here. Uh, Jeffrey, welcome. Uh, my good friend Neeraj Kakkar, uh, I remember I met him, I used to be in engineering school in 93, and he was very pally with some of Nawal's friend. Um, Nawal is my two bachelor's junior from the engineering school. And Neeraj used to sit in my dorm and, you know, he used to drink not what he produces now, but some other things. And then, as luck would have it, uh, Neeraj came to the same business school as me. He's two batches junior to me from MDI. So really, I'm looking forward to Neeraj's address. He's built a fantastic brand and a company. I also want to welcome uh, Deepak, Mr. Bulas, uh, Zoe, and all uh, Donna, all the fantastic international speakers we have here. Uh, we are speaking. When 14 days back, uh, Mary Nickel's annual digital report, the Internet Trends Report came, and it mentioned India as the most exciting digital market in the world. Uh, and like elsewhere, the growth in digital in India is happening through Facebook and Google, but the Indian publisher and the Indian digital platforms possibly are also growing very fast. And the unique thing is, Suparna said, while we called our digital conference tech munches because the growth in Indian digital ecosystem will come from the Indian language ecosystem. You know, you saw Madhu Bhumi's presentation and, and you go to any state, the most dominant uh, platform is the, the language newspaper there and it's not necessarily the English language newspaper. So really, uh, if India needs to grow in digital and just to give you a context, we have, whether you take our report or any other report, it's about 12,000 crores of digital advertising. About 6,700 crores goes to Google. About 3,000 crores goes to Facebook, less than 3,000 crores. And the rest, 2,300 crores, comes to Indian publishers. Right, Deepak? Now, we need to change that. Because at the end of the day, if the aspirations of the Indian middle class and the Indian consumer has to be in some way catered to we'll have to grow faster than Google and Facebook in this country. Maybe this is the country which is also the fastest growing country for both Google and Facebook, especially Facebook, because its base is lower. Uh, I think we'll have to be the first country where our own platforms 
can grow faster than them. And I have no doubt that through today's deliberations, the leaders and the promoters of the businesses will go back with ideas, suggestions, and strategies that will help them grow the business. I also wanted to take this opportunity. You know, Exchange for Media is B2B. We're about the community, the marketing, advertising, media community. However, we also believe that when we work with the stakeholders in this ecosystem, anything that they need, we should be able to provide them that. We should be able to collaborate. So we are working on developing some analytics uh, products, you know, some subscription-based products, which help the digital ecosystem. At some stage in the future, we will launch them. We've also launched something called Future Play, which is our way to engage with media owners and ecosystem in the ecosystem that we serve, is to help them in their B2C initiative. Kaushik is there from Future Play. He's joined us as a partner, not really as an employee. And so we are looking to grow what we have, be more relevant, because the biggest challenge is to stay relevant every day. And I hope that we continue to get your patronage as we got in the last 17 years. Um, Xenia talked about us being a visionary and me and Aval and Amit started this company. Amit is not here in the room. I think we were the original digital guys, but we believe we started a B2B e-commerce platform 17 years back. We didn't want to be a media company. We wanted to be a commerce marketplace for media industry. I think the time for that has come today. Uh, so we may revisit that, what we started 17 years. And digital is the ecosystem where it's most relevant. Again, in digital, there is programmatic buying happening. I think already in that, some ways on lots of digital exchanges. But we're again trying to revisit what we started 17 years back, because really that's the ecosystem um, that is most ripe for uh, what we started 17 years back. So I don't want to go on. I look for, I today have a Business World BFSI conference and our annual business uh, banking awards, uh, so all the major bankers, but I'm here because I want to learn about digital. I think in the last few years, uh, my knowledge of digital has taken a dive, so I'm here to learn from all the leaders that are there in the room. Talking about ITMA, this is the seventh year of ITMA. I must tell you that this year we got 850 plus entries. I want, I have not been part of any jury. I wanted to be part of ITMA so that I could look at the entries and learn. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it for the jury. But I want to tell you that we refused many sponsors uh, who wanted to in some way influence ITMA, who wanted just an award uh, there, whether it happened to the jury. So it's one of the, I would say it's the most credible awards. And when it comes to the marketers' engagement with it, it's the most deep award, it's, it's the highest affinity amongst uh, marketers. So tonight when you see the winners, you know that it has gone through three stages of the jury process and it is the most honest and process driven award that exists in this industry. I know there are other technology platforms in the country, but I want to tell you, if you look around in this room, uh, I met Sonali just now, you know, there are more CMOs between now and the evening. You'll meet more CMOs and brand marketers today at Tech Munch in Itma than you'll meet at other technology platforms where technology guys are trying to sell to technology guys. Uh, you know, I don't want to talk, give their name, but I did want to make that point that we deliver more marketers and advertising museum makers than any platform in this country. For us, the marketer is the god. So, Sonali, uh, we bow to you. Uh, but I wanted to make that point because really we believe that more as digital grows, marketers will play even a bigger role in direct decision making. Uh, and we will continue to serve. We also next month relaunch Pitch. Pitch we launched on 15th October 2003. We believe it's, it's a time to refresh Pitch. And Pitch is equal to marketers. That's how we think. So hopefully in July you'll see us relaunching Pitch in a big way. I wanted to use this opportunity to share all this with you. I look forward to a day of learning and celebrating the digital ex excellence that exists in this domain. And as I said, hopefully we'll be the country that but the trend of only Facebook and Google growing and our Indian publishers can grow and do us proud. Thank you for being here. God bless you.